Hey, okay, you might be wondering, what do I do next? <laughs> like, I have been feeding this thing for a week, I've been discarding, I've been doing all the things, and then all of a sudden, what? What happens next? All right, so I wanna give you some things to look for. So if you have been discarding every day and feeding your starter for seven days, like I walked through, if you missed it, in day four, I said continue this process through day six or seven. So discard and feed for at least a week. And then what you're looking for is a good, awesome smell. Okay, you will know it when you smell this smell. It's like a yeasty smell, but it does have that tang, that sour kind of smell to it. So look for the smell, look for bubbles, and those are your clues. Um, I mentioned before the float test, I'm gonna caveat that and say, all purpose starters are gonna float. Like my whole wheat starter does not really float. So if you're using a whole grain flour that hasn't been sifted and that bran is still in there, then it's not really gonna float in <laughs> water. So that's not a hard and fast rule to make sure it's ready. If you're getting some bubbles and that smell is great and you're getting a good like yeasty, soury, tangy kind of smell, that's not like acetone or super rank, and <laughs> you're ready. And let me tell you, it happens overnight. Like you are all of a sudden gonna wake up one morning and your starter is gonna be smiling on you. <laughs> the starter gods will be smiling. So this one for me, I was like, I don't know if this all purpose thing is really for me, but look at her, she's so happy. So don't give up if, you, if you're like, well, it's been a week, it's dead, I killed it, it's over. Remember, there's so many strains of yeast. Your flour has that yeast, that fungus on it, which I know it sounds terrible, but it is what it is. So your flour has that on it. The air has this wild yeast in it. So I don't know what you're gonna capture, and some starters, by nature, will just be more sour. It's the name of the game, it is what it is. Um, so you're not, I mean, it's not gonna not have a tang. It is sourdough, period. If you're like, I completely hate it, then I'm sorry. <laughs> it is sourdough. So you have to give yourself time, okay? So give yourself time and over time, consistent feedings, um, being super just like loving on that starter, um, pouring off the hooch every time, pouring off that liquid every time. Even if it's on the bottom, I take my wooden spoon or spatula or whatever I'm using and kind of scrape down the side and then pour it off so it gets that bottom hooch out and like can pour off. So consistent feeding over time, taking good care of it, just being good to it and developing this habit is what's gonna get a more mild starter. So if right now it's super tangy, yeah, it just got started, right? And it's been on the counter. On the counter, it's gonna have more of a tang. It's warmer, it's fermenting faster. The faster it ferments, the more sour it gets, okay? So that's um, another thing to keep in mind is that you're just getting started, right? Let it develop, let it mature, and I promise it will give back to you in so, so many ways. So it's been a week. You've discarded and fed. If you've got the bubbles, you've got the smell, you're ready to go, um, start baking with it, right? Make some waffles, make the crepes, make muffins, make something with it and start using it. So now, instead of taking out half to discard it, you're gonna take out what you need for that particular recipe, use it, and then feed the rest. And at this point, you can feed it more. So. I started feeding her a cup now instead of just the small amount that we were feeding her or the half a cup before. Now I'm feeding her a cup because I wanna get baking with this and I have been baking like crazy because I have another video for you for, on how to make an awesome Dutch oven loaf of sourdough. So I just bulked this one up, right? So you can do that. You can just feed it more to get more. So if you're ready to go, that's what I want you to do. Instead of discarding, now you're gonna use that starter, feed it and start the habit. This is a skill. You're gonna come out of this and have a new skill that will bless your family for years to come and those around you because you can share it with others. But it's a skill, it's a habit. It's just like anything else, you have to develop the habit. Once it's a habit, you're gonna be using this like no problem. But right now it might seem like, oh my gosh, I have to feed this stupid thing in my fridge. Like, this is crazy, you're on my counter. So 
once it's a habit, you'll just do it. It will just become part of your life. You'll feed it, you'll discard some, you'll be like, oh, I'm not gonna use it for a couple weeks. You'll leave it in the fridge, let it go dormant, bring it back out, feed it again, get it going. Like this is just a cycle that you're gonna start going through and it's gonna be amazing. But if you're wondering what to do next, that's it. Keep going, keep being consistent. If you want to put your starter in the fridge, you're not gonna have to feed it as often, but I do recommend that after you feed it, leave it out on the counter for a couple hours, let it get nice and bubbly and active, and then you can throw it in the fridge for a day or two if you're not quite ready to bake. I have been doing this a long time and I do take my starter straight out of the fridge for recipes, but my starter is very mature. So let me also say, another little caveat, let me also say you might need to take it out of the fridge and warm it up a bit to get it back happy if you're doing bread and things like that. So mine, I know her, I know them intimately, right? Like I know them intimately, but tips for your success would be to leave it out right after a feed, then you can put it in the fridge for a day or two if you're not quite ready and then bring it back out, get it nice and warm and happy. Um, so I hope that that's helpful on the steps to do next. I'm gonna be coming at you with a lot more information as we go so that you can have the most success with your starter.